Mucha suerte de haber sido la primera mujer en mi familia en haber estudiado un doctorado. La universidad eh, no era una opción para las mujeres españolas de antes. Se pensaba que estudiar no era cosa de mujeres y de hecho se despreciaba a las chicas universitarias. Por ejemplo, Adolfo Maillo, un escritor falangista, lo dejaba claro y cito textualmente Legiones de bachilleras que saben acaso mucha trigonometría y química pero son incapaces de freír un huevo o zurcir un calcetín. En aquella época y todavía hoy en día, el porcentaje de mujeres analfabetas en España dobla el de hombres. Afortunadamente, la mentalidad fue cambiando poco a poco al finalizar la dictadura. Mis abuelas, mis tías y especialmente mi madre siempre me han animado a estudiar. Todas ellas son mujeres trabajadoras, fuertes y con gran personalidad que se han sentido orgullosas de que finalizara mis estudios y, en definitiva, de que persiguiera mis sueños. En el campo de la ciencia tenemos un gran problema y es que las mujeres todavía somos minoría. Y aunque durante mi tesis éramos casi todos chicas en el laboratorio, mi interés por este tema creció cuando me fui a Estados Unidos a trabajar como postdoc. When I started working in the Center for Sustainable Materials Chemistry, I became more aware of how important it is to support the participation of women in chemistry and to create a mentoring community. And maybe this is because I have my first female mentor who gives me a different perspective about science. And I always wonder when did she discover her passion for chemistry. So my first exposure to science is when my father took me hiking when I was a child. And uh, he loved nature and he would point out the trees and the flowers and the birds and the beavers. But I wasn't interested in any of that. What I really loved was the rocks that I would pick up off the ground. My favorite rocks were these flat white sandstone with manganese dioxide precipitate on it that would grow like trees. And they would look like pictures of trees. And this was my first love of inorganic chemistry. So one of the reasons why many young women are afraid to pursue a scientific career is because they don't see people like themselves. That's why the CSMC has a great female community that encourages women to progress in their careers. The percentage of women in academic positions is increasing over the last years, but we can do more to keep this going. For example, increasing the visibility of women in science and the awareness. Also creating a female mentoring network and giving advice to the youngest ones. So chemistry is really challenging. Oftentimes experiments fail before they succeed. And these are frustrating times. So to get you through this frustrating times, it's a good idea to have a mantra. So my mantra is failure is not an option. And if that works for you, please use it. A piece of advice for anybody, female, male, it doesn't matter. Science is not easy. Science is harder but it can be amazingly inspirational. Reach for the stars, always be an overachiever, not an overexpector, and always be willing to let the data, both the data from the lab and the data from the market, societal need and the value it can bring, guide your decisions. Have a hypothesis, plan a set of experiments, and be open-minded enough that when the data don't come through the way you want, be honest with those data and let that guide you to even greater greatness than your original thoughts were. If I could go back in time and give myself a piece of advice, it would be to keep moving forward. Life is full of setbacks and obstacles, and it's important to not lose your focus and to keep advancing yourself. Uh, don't doubt yourself and don't let other people doubt you. If you want a life in the sciences, then make it happen. I consider myself very lucky to have a mentor, a woman in science, who inspired me to also uh, follow my passion in science. And her name is Dr. Jacqueline Canyas Carroll, and she was one of 
the few women in science that was awarded a PhD in, um, in environmental science. And if I had any advice for future scientists out there, I would just say, find yourself a mentor and don't be afraid to ask questions. Um, we all need help sometimes. At the end of the day, even with all its obstacles, I consider myself privileged to be a chemist. We have the responsibility to don't let outdated stereotypes stop anyone to become the next generation of scientists.